Hey guys, and welcome to another Ark Survival Evolved tutorial. This time we are going to cover cooking. Uh, in order to cook, you need a few things. First, you need a cooking pot. You need access to water. I'm using an irrigation system here, but you could be right down there by the water shore and doing it there. You need some water skins or water jars. You need the ingredients for whatever you're going to cook with, and then you need some wood or some spark powder or something to burn in the cooking pot while producing said recipes. Now, the first thing that we're going to look at is going to be something really simple to do, and most people can do it straight off the bat as soon as you can make a cooking fire, and that is dyes. Now, at the end of this video, I will cover dyes completely, you know, as far as what you can do with them, how you can use them, how cool they are, and all that other good stuff. But let's get on with the cooking first, and let's make some. So in order to make dyes, you need a few things. You need a fuel source to burn. You need some charcoal in your fire pit. You need some berries, which we've got over here, staying good. We'll make red dye for this demonstration, but it's done pretty similar. I'll link a, uh, or I'll put up, post up a little thingy here in a minute, what you need. Um, and then you need some water. So let's get some water out of here. And then we'll put this in the pot. We've got our berries. We got our water, and you always want to put your food, your your fuel source last. You want all of your ingredients first. So I tend to do it like so. Actually, that's an ingredient. So you got your berries, you got your charcoal, you got your water, and then you got that. So then you just light the fire. Now, as far as this goes, how many berries do you need to make each dye? It's usually about five or ten or so. Um, I, I tend to go with 10, like there, it went from 50 to 35, so it's 15 for red. And it makes you five. And you just let it keep cooking, you notice it took off two charcoal. So here it's going to go here in a second, it's going to take and make another five red after I put more water in it. You need one water bottle per set of dye. Now you can do like this, and you can put multiple water sources in there, and it'll make you multiple sets of dyes. Put the fuel at the end. And we can get that out. But as you watch, this will now go up because the proper ingredients are in there. There's five more and another empty water bottle. Now it'll make me five more. And then it'll probably stop. Come on. There it goes. Now we'll put out the fire to save our fuel. But we ended up with 15 red dye from that. All right. The next things. I'm encumbered. Oh, that's right, because I took all that charcoal. You can have charcoal in there while you're cooking other stuff because wood produces charcoal, so it's not that big a deal. Now, as far as when you're cooking, how much water do you need? A lot of people are debating that you have to have it brand new, full, straight from the tap. Truth be told, anything over about a quarter of a water bottle will still produce the cooked item. So you don't need to sit here and make sure your water skins haven't leaked any or anything like that. As long as they're over about a quarter or a third, they'll still produce your food. All right, the next thing we're going to do is a really simple tonic. Um, there's two of them. One energy brew, which is 20 azul berries and two stimulant, and then a medical tonic, which you're going to find more useful early on. The medical tonic basically is like a regen, a hot, a heal over time type ability. And it's pretty easy. I don't know if I have enough tinto berries, though, to make it. I don't, so we're gonna, <laughs> here, let me get some, uh, give me a second, I'll be right back, let me get some Tinto Berries. All right, we are back. So I've got some Tinto Berries now, as you can see. Um, we're going to put the Tinto Berries in, we're gonna move them to the front, and then we want some narcotics. Now, I've got a stack, I'm gonna hold shift and take about half of them. And then we're gonna put a few water bottles in here so that we can make a couple of these. We got enough berries to make two or three. And then you want, like I said before, you want your ingredients, then you want your water, then you want your wood, etc. All of your ingredients before all this. It can be very finicky cooking. Sometimes if you have this out here, for some reason, sometimes it won't work. So make sure that your ingredients, your base ingredients are first, then your water, then your food, and nine times out of ten, it'll work properly. If, if it doesn't still work, then put them in the exact order that you see on the recipe. Um, so, now we can just light this fire, and if you watch, we'll start producing medical tonics. Now, medical tonics are heal potions, basically. It's a drink that you drink that heals you, 
and we're making dyes. Why are we making dyes? Oh, because we got charcoal in there. Let's take the charcoal out. Just forgive me. For Pete's sake. Oh, it had probably already started making the dye. That's why it did that. When I hit, there it goes. There we go. So we got a medical brew, and we'll let this cook a couple times. We'll make one more. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Make one more. We got another water bottle in there. It takes it a good 15, 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds or longer sometimes to cook these things. There we go. So we got two of them. So you can put these in your hot bar and you can use them. And if I now hit zero, if you look, if I had any health damage, which I don't, there would be a little health up thing down there in the bottom left hand corner right down here. But there's not because we don't have any health issues. All right, now that's that. So let's get on to something even a little bit more difficult. First, let's fill our water bottles up. And to do so, you just like I've showed you in multiple times, you just put them in here and they'll fill up. We'll go ahead and fill that one the rest of the way up. And then we'll take, take them out. Now the next one, this recipe we're going to get into is actual cooking. This is an actual food recipe. Now you can cook all of these items without having the recipe. You just have to know the recipe. In other words, you have to know what to put in the cooking pot. You can guess until you get it or you can go to the web page where you can look up there and you can see in the top right hand corner the whole listing of all the recipes or some of them at least, whatever I could fit in there. And... Uh, a link there that shows you where to go get all of the recipes. But uh, for the next one, we need a few things from this box. We need some cooked meat, which we have. We need Savo root, which I'll take. We'll take six because they have a tendency to spoil. We need long grass. We need mayo berries which we'll just take half of. And then we need narcotics, which we've already got. So you come up here, and this is gonna be good for you guys that wanna go pearl diving or oil diving and things like that. This, is, this recipe is called Lazarus Chowder. And how you make this recipe is that you put some meat in, put it first, then you take and you put your Savo root in, you put your long grass in, you put your mayo berries in, and then you put in your narcotics which I don't need to put 45 of them in there. But we'll put some narcotics in there. Now I'm just gonna move the wood and the charcoal to the back. We're gonna put a water bottle or two in there. Um, we got enough to make one, so there's only use for one water bottle. And we'll put it after the, after the narcos, which we'll put it there. Actually, we'll put it there. So we got meat. We've got uh, savo root. We got long grass, mayo berries, and then narcotics. Now the proper recipe I'm putting too much, of course, but the proper recipe is nine meat, or it will be called three, three, three servings of meat, which is a serving is three meat. So basically you need nine meat, you need five savo root, five long grass, 10 mayo berries, 10 to 20, I think it's 10 though, 10 mayo berries, and then two narcotics, a bottle of water, and some food. Then if you light the fire, it will produce what's known as Lazarus chowder. Now what Lazarus chowder does, the, the, dif, the, uh, the description says, this creamy dish improves the body's natural constitution. You will recover from injury more quickly after eating this and your body will need less oxygen. So basically you heal a little bit faster, you, you or recover stamina a little bit faster rather, and uh, you can basically breathe underwater. And it lasts for a long time. Now these take approximately three wood, between two and three wood to cook. So it's not quick. You have to sit here and wait on it, or you can leave and go do what you want to do and come back and grab it. You don't have to literally sit here and watch it. But after a couple of the uh, wood burns off, it will eventually produce it. It takes about 60 to 90 seconds or so in order to actually produce these, these more in-depth 
cooking recipes. Now there are some other ones. There's an enduro stew. Uh, this work, it, it's a workout in the form of a meal. You find yourself hitting harder and running longer. And there's our meal right there. So let's put out the fire so that nothing, no fuel's consumed. So we'll put this in our inventory. Now, if you notice this lasts five hours, if you put this in the hot box or the preserving bin, as most people call it, it will last a lot longer, two days. So long as you keep spark powder in here, which spark powder consumes really slowly in here. It's like one or two an hour. Um, you, uh, you can keep this pretty much for as long as you would possibly need it. So what does this do? We'll go over that at the end, but let's cover, uh, let's cover, let me see. Those of you that have pets that fly, this is a really good one for that. Um, you find out your pet won't fly far enough or he wants to land or he's close to wanting to land and you see something down below you that you're a little worried you don't want to land on. So let's take all this junk out. Let's put a water bottle in there. You want a couple stimulants. You only need two. So you put two stimulants in there. And then you put some azul berries, which we've got over here, the blueberries. And we'll take about half of those, 30. It only takes, uh, I think, 20 to make it. But we'll put some azul berries in there. Then we've got some of these, these stimulants, which are learned. But the stimulants and the narcotics are learned through engrams. And then we'll just light the fire. Now this recipe is really similar to the medical tonic. It's called an energy brew. Now what this does is it gives you a boost of energy, of stamina. Now why are you making dye? You shouldn't be making dye. Pull your charcoal out or it'll get confused and try and make you dye. Now I don't think I have enough blueberries in there, so let's put more. And we also used up our water. That's probably why I had the water. So let's put the blueberries in there. Let's get rid of that. For some reason, it likes to make dye if dye is available. But if you keep that charcoal out, apparently you have to. You didn't used to. Come on, make me my, make me my energy drink. I want my Red Bull. <sighs> there it is. So let's put out the fire. Now what this does is it fills up your stamina. Now it doesn't fill up your stamina. It gives you approximately 30 stamina. So let's sprint. Or we can't because we're over, over full here. Let's go into inventory and let's throw away this 46 charcoal. And then we won't be encumbered anymore. So let's go out here and we'll sprint around. And we'll go swimming in the water and punching. Stuff to make all our energy go away. All right, there, we're losing a lot of energy. Now, if we go into inventory, now you can force feed these to your birds. And basically what happens is if you watch your energy, our stamina is at 94. So we're going to hit nine and then look at our stamina. All right, let's just put it up here and use it. Oh, that's right, you're in the water. You can't use items in the water. Duh! All right, now let's hit nine. And if you watch, your stamina starts boosting up real quick. Look at that. I mean, it shoots your stamina up. I think it's like 30 or 40 points to your birds per, of, of, per drink. So if you're like halfway over and you don't want your bird to land on you and it's about to, you can throw a couple of them in its inventory. Hit F to access its inventory while you're flying on it. Click that, set it to a forced use object, a remote use object on, on it, and it'll pump his stamina back up so you can keep going. All right, that's pretty much cooking in a nutshell. Now, granted, I'm going to, you know, there's throughout this video, I've shown some ever, other recipes. You know, there, there are a bunch of recipes to be seen. There's like six or eight, ten, maybe 12 of them, a bunch of them. And you can find them all at Arc dot gamepedia.com slash recipes i'm not going to cover a all because it's a 15 minute video already but i'll be right back i'm going to make some dyes and a paintbrush and i'm going to show you how to use dyes so be right back all right and i am back now this won't take very long to finish off so let's cover this first things you need are some dyes of course and i just showed you how to make dyes you make dyes in the cooking pot and the different colored berries make the different colored dyes in other words the tinto berries which are red make red dye the mayo berries make purple dye 
the blueberries make blue dye, the blackberries make black dye, the yellow berries make yellow dye. You can make orange, green, purple, brown, etc. Um, I'll have thrown a list up somewhere in this video that shows all the different dyes you can make. Um, and then another thing you can learn to make is called the paintbrush. So then you need a, after you make a paintbrush, you just take a dye and you put it on a paintbrush. All right, now you got a red and you got a blue paintbrush. So you then go into the house. You go to inventory. You drag these paintbrushes down to your hot bar, like so. And then I want to paint my house. So you hit eight. Click on it. It then shows you that I'm painting the door frame and you can select which colors you want to paint, which regions. Now that's the banding in it. That is the backside, the wood on the back. And then color one is the actual thatch. So let's dye the item. Now paintbrushes have uses. Notice how the usage down here, right here, went away a little bit. So I could just keep painting and we'll color region one, dye item. And as you see, what we're doing is we're ending up with a white house. And then we're going to paint region one. We're going to come over here. We're going to paint region one. And we got a nice red, funky looking house. And then we could have, uh, we could do like so. We can go to nine, which is blue. And then we could paint region two, dye the item. Here we can paint region two and dye the item. We can jump up, paint region two, dye the item. We can go over here. We can paint region two and dye the item. Then we can go right here, paint region two and dye the item. Go to the door. And on the door, we're going to paint the front door blue so that we can differentiate it from the other. And then we'll go to eight. And we'll hit eight on it and we'll do region two of blue or yeah, of red rather on the inside so that we can see. Now if we open up the door and we look inside, the inside is red thatch with the blue hot blue wood, but the door is still blue with the red inlay, but there's no wood on the door, so you can't see it. If you were built a wooden wooden door, it would look a little bit different. But now we can definitely see that door. We can get in and out. You can make black any any color dyes you want to to do this. Now that's not all for dye. So there's a, uh, let's go into V. Did I learn how to make some hide gear or some cloth gear? Yeah, I did. What do I need? Fiber. Do I have some fiber? Please have some fiber. I don't know if I have any fiber. Fiber, 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 nothing. I have no fiber. So I'll be right back. All right, and we are back. As you can see now, I've made myself a full set of cloth gear. You can then go into dyes and then you can drag these dyes. As you can see, all of this stuff that can be dyed lights up green. So we'll go on our hat, and it just dyes your hat. If you go to red, we'll put red on the shirt. You can choose a couple areas that you want to, whatever you want to dye. And if you look down here, you can see what it's going to dye. There's multiple areas, so you can get really creative with your gear if you want to. We'll go with red on the pants. Uh, we'll do one. And then there's six regions you can dye on those pants, any colors you want to. So let's go with blue on the gloves and the shoes. There we go. And now you've got all these different colors also that you could be using. Red, green, black, blue, purple, orange, brown, etc. Yellow. So you can use all different colors to paint all your gear. On top of that, you can go in and you can paint your weapons. So you go into your bow and you look down here. I can dye the front of it red. I can dye the cross lacing on it and the string. There's the handle. We'll dye it blue. Let's, uh, that's all the blue we got. So let's do the uh, string red dye item. And now, if I hit two to bring out my bow, if you see there, it's colored. And that's pretty cool. And you can do that for almost everything. You could do that, let's see, uh, let's go into inventory. You can do that for tools. You can paint your tools. You can paint you know, all of that stuff. You can paint your torch. Like, there we go. And then put a little red on the handle. Right there. So, I mean, you can paint anything. You can dye a lot of things, almost anything. You change the colors of stuff that are just kind of funky. Like, I don't like the color of that bed. I think you can paint beds, maybe. 
No. Okay. Y'all know you. I guess maybe it did a little bit. No. But you can paint these things. If they're ugly, dye it. it makes them kind of uglier, in my opinion. Because it doesn't fully paint. It just kind of looks like you spray painted it. But you can. <laughs> all right, guys. That's all you need to know on cooking and, and dyeing things. Hopefully you got enough out of this. If it helped you, please like, comment, subscribe. And have a great day.